Back down, never what? Never give up. Never back down, never what? Never give up.
Okay. <laughs> How we doing today? I know some of you it's night, some of you it's daytime. How we all doing? How is our Saturdays going? I made a critical error yesterday, and an hour before work, I almost finished a blanket for a friend, only to realize that I hadn't been tracking the tension of the blanket and that there was about a four inch curve in on one side, so I had to undo the entirety of the blanket and now I'm halfway through it again. I'll finish it either tonight or tomorrow. <laughs> that's how that started. Uh, yes. Pink. Yeah, it, it was rough, Jetto. I'm assuming you want the shoulder. Oh, wait, I need to pick you up with the pin feature. This is what pink meant, by the way, casual. Pink and Pup have been enjoying being pinned to my shoulder as frequently as possible. Ooh, there's an identified ghost. Oh, never mind, it ran. Well, poop. So. Eat. That. Uh, we will unpin that. It's your job. Yeah. How do you get pinned? Uh, you just ask. For some odd reason, we can't seem to do specific individual pins unless I do it. So, like, I can just pin you up there. And you'll live up there for, like, two minutes. <laughs> I can also one-pin you. Yeah, you can do mass pin, but some people do get annoyed by it. So we're trying not to spam that one as much, just because, it, yeah, not everyone enjoys the avatars getting launched every which direction and being pinned. Um, okay, so I need to do my save. Yeah, see, for some reason, you target somebody, and yeah. <laughs> sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Hey. I just... It's the... Oops, sorry, Pink. It's the Anya smirk. I know it is. I know it is casual. There you go. <laughs> Let you be free. But, yes, anyone can join. Um, we are doing the Jodo Legendaries. Why am I being attacked, casual? Did you, like... Did you drink all the coffee this morning, Casual? Because you were choosing violence hard, which usually you only do when you've woken up far too early and drank way too much coffee. Cat, do not entangle yourself in that yarn. I'm almost done detangling all that freaking yarn. Freaking just over three-tenths of a mile. Yeah, they don't have an avatar. Yes. Uh, so we did Raikou all... Like, all right, he raids last time. Woke up early, had a good poop, just got over respiratory. Ah, so you're feeling good. Got you, got you. You want Lugia? I don't have Lugia right now, Jato. If you want to be av if you want your avatar to be Lugia, remember it's exclamation point avatar and then the Pokemon you want to be. See? And then if I want to be shiny, it's like that. <laughs> But we can do Entei, we can do... You actually have to put Arceus. <laughs> but we can do a little bit of everything. I can run with bots, I don't care type of thing. It just depends. But it's God Llama. We call it the God Llama, but you have to actually call it Arceus. All right, it, it's how this program's set up. I didn't name it. Yeah, see? That one I think is holding the fire plate, or is fire typed. It, it looks red on my screen. But, um, I guess we're going to suffer the bird to start with. I really don't want to suffer bird, but we need to eventually deal with the birds. Yes, I'd like to save my adventure. Imagine Galama being upset you didn't use its given name, Sag Llama. Yeah. So I will set up a link code. If no one joins, I'll just run with bots. That's fine. Zero. And as you guys saw, the code command is now working. I don't like quote normal or shiny. I'm not really a fan of it either, but you know. It is the giant chicken. I prefer Lugia. Although I wish we had a different color for the freaking Lugia shiny. I would join, but I don't have a switch currently. You're fine, Jodo. I don't know if they've done the Arceus shiny version. I mean, it's just piss yellow, which is honestly sad. Like, you'd think the God Llama would have a better color palette for it shiny. Which, eventually, I'm going to have to do the resets for that thing and BDSB. Uh, <laughs> Lay sadness. Oh, that one's pink. I guess it's fairy typed. 
I'm assuming fairy would be pink because I like the pink god. Yeah. W. <laughs> I'm assuming that one's a fairy then. Like I said, one monitor originally looked red to me, so I assumed fire type. Because what is it? I want to say psychic is like a dark purple and then poison's a lighter purple? Pink fairy god llama? Yeah. <laughs> it's just Wanda in disguise, that's all. Quick, which legendary is like green? Because that's Cosmo. Or I guess you could say Celebi for mythical. Levy, leave that blanket in progress alone, ma'am. Yes, you. You who have been a terror the past 48 hours for no reason. Friggin, I don't know what it was, but Nova made Levy really mad at bedtime last night. And so Levy just was like on site with Nova for like 30 minutes. And it was just them chasing each other through the house. Oh, there is Zygarde. Celebi can be Cosmo and Wanda. That is true, Jodo. That is true. No? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> well, because shiny Celebi is pink, that's why. And we know canonically there's more than one Celebi. Do, 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 do. Okay. Cat. Okay. <laughs> They're cute, but they are terrors. Like, Levy is about to turn seven and Nova is two, and they're toddlers through and through on both of them. It's just Levy's far too smart for her own good. One got stuck in your sofa? Yeah, sounds about right for a cat. All right, looks like I'm running bots. That's fine. Starting with the bird. Um, okay. Uh, give me the Machoke. I don't like the fact that it has no guard, but give me the Machoke. And none of those were fantastic for the bird. And the Brewer is not a great thing to take. Um, I'm thinking Kangaskhan. Let me see. Sesmatoad. But Sesmatoad doesn't have any alchemy but Grimace Shake? Oh god, no. Uh, Sesmacon. Er. Kangaskhan. Nido King. And probably Drift Blimp. No, not Drift Blimp because it's got extra sensory. Crap. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I'll figure it out. There's not a lot of good options that I see that actually have uh, rock type moves. <laughs> That's really what we want, rock type moves, because fire flying, or yeah, fire flying. Which means I really don't want to keep this machant, machoke, and I really don't want to keep that beware. I guess I just really just gonna use Max Knuckle. Like it doesn't matter. I don't need to keep Max Knuckle for anything. And I can't remember if this Kangaskhan specifically has a rock type move or not. I just know it's okay-ish. Also, I wouldn't mind a shiny Kangaskhan, so there's that. Also, I gotta remember to hit the button. This is raid number 77 since our last, like, known shiny. Actually, it's been more than 77, but that's since we've been counting again. I mean, y'all can lower stats. That works. Curse? Okay. See, Mimikyu, I'm going to question you doing that, but at the same time, you're probably going to be immune from 90% of its stuff because you're a ghost and it's a normal type. Oh, did Pink fall again? Also, where is my computer screen? Oh. Wow. I can update my drivers. I will do that after stream. I remember showing Tactics Daisy my hacked legendaries in Pokemon Scarlet. <laughs> I think I have one or two hacked Arceus, but I think one might be a legitimate event shiny. I can't remember, I'll have to double check. Because if I already have a legitimate event Arceus, I'm not going to soft reset for one. 
Yes, I know that makes me... Shiny Karate does go hard, and I want them to officially release that little dude. Like, it's such a clean, legendary shiny, which we haven't had, I feel like, in a really long time. Don't get me wrong, I like Zacian, but you can't get Zacian right now in any game unless it was via code, which pisses me off. Like, I hate when they, like, oh, here's old code, and it's good for, like, a month. What am I doing? It goes in a Pokeball. This isn't a legendary Pokeball. Go. Like, I'm hoping in the second half of the DLC, which drops December 14th for Scarlet and Violet, that we can shiny hunt the new legendaries. Like, not the new new ones, but like, the base Gen 8 ones, basically. You're good, Pink. Okay, it has a dig. Uh, I'm good with that. Alright, got rid of the Mimikyu. That's okay, because it's going to be weak to extra sensory. Halucha! Drift Blimp, Wismacot. Um. Arr. Try the Nido King. <laughs> I forget that I have that sound bit, like sound alert available, and I'm just like, oh, what? <laughs> I need a king. Nido King is a short king. Like, I want to point that out. Most Nido Kings are, like, under five foot tall. Which means I'm taller than they are. Um, let's go for coaching. Maybe... Hi, Power. How you doing? Okay, went for the dig. Huh. Thunder Punch, I'm aware. Like, don't get me wrong, but where's Tanky? It's just. Ho oh, oh has extra sensory. Ooh, does Kane's Con miss out on the coaching? Becomes the question. Because it's underground. I think so. No, no. Kane's Con went up. Um, knowing my list, it's either a breed of horse or a breed of cat. It's one of the two. Because <laughs> I don't think that one's a fossil. I know it's not any of the wolf species. Based upon spelling, I'm tempted to say it's a breed of horse. Max Quake, okay. You really don't like this boy, do you? Cat, okay. Like I said, it was either gonna be cat or horse, one of the two. Hey, quick Nido King cleanup, that's not bad. Yes, the boy is almost dead, but hopefully that person's the one who takes the Nido King. Also, that was 78. I gotta remember to hit the button. I don't normally remember to hit the button, which is a problem. Bum, 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 ba -dum -dum. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, I'm good. No, let the beware swap, Stoutland, damn it. I was hoping for. Uh, plushie that I wasn't sure was? Okay. Uh, there's a Carvana in chat. What is this fire type? I keep trying to see what it is. Uh, we'll go for the freaking. I don't want to take this Whimsicott. I really don't, but... I can't tell what the fire type is, and I'd rather try them to roll on the scientist and maybe get lucky. Okay, the Malamar works, but I really wish William had taken it yet again. I might have to take this freaking... This isn't Whimsicott, this is Eldegloss, isn't it? Yeah, it's the, the cotton head. <laughs> NPCs are dumb. They are dumb. And I didn't have a lot of great options either. Let's 
Let's just go big. I currently have four hearts, and I almost want the freaking Beware at this point to be knocked out. So I have three, but I have a full healthy Beware. And we'll post our brain. Yeah. I hope you get all the shinies first try. Dude, I, I need some luck here. Also, this is raid number 79. I just didn't have a lot of good options power. That's that's the bigger thing. I decided to like hate myself and start with Ho-Oh -Ho tonight. And yep. I mean it has it has effect spore, which has potential. Somewhat. Not a lot, but somewhat. And like I can't take Eldegoss as a support mom because the NPCs usually run support tactics. And the issue with support tactics then like Dear God, this whole team is about to be weak to this freaking Ho-Oh. -Ho. I have to, to, to take. Hold up. You. You don't even have a water type move. And I forget that you're not a water type. Uh, I got an Oddish from an unidentified ghost. Uh, the weakest one I got was a Perleon, and then after that, they were okay. Like, I like the un unidentified ghosts, it's kind of cool. Okay, you're KO'd. I'm debating if I want to take this or if I want to let one of the NPCs take this. Because no matter what, at least three of us are going to be super weak to Hell oh because of it having extra sensory. But other than that... Coggenguard, Leafstorm, Weatherball, Light Screen. <sighs> figures. Alright. All of us are weak to ho- oh, this is gonna be fun. And we're going in with three hearts. Wish me luck! I don't have faith. Burb. <laughs> Hello, Kentucky Fried Chicken. How are you? Well, you're not really Kentucky Fried Chicken. That's more Combuskin. Yes, yes, yes. Pressure. Uh... I'm gonna go for some coaching. Because I know we're all basically gonna do support rolls like the first two turns. Okay, the one mon not weak to that move. Okay. Tweet, tweet, tweet. You'll probably lose because Dirt Brain, possibly. Problem is, is I don't, I'm not raising special defense. Cotton guard, okay. I also have like three turns before it gets back to me, so I'd rather use. Yeah, I'll go for another round of coaching. I want to save the rock slides until I can go big, basically, and have them as max rock fall or whatever it's called. All I can do is hope that oh, it was. Dumb and actually physically c touches Eldegoss for effect spore to go off. But I doubt that's what happens. Yes. Also, who's ready for more uh, PLA shiny hunting tomorrow? Weather Ball. See, I can't make it rain. If I could make it rain, Weather Ball would be amazing. Alright, I'm gonna go for a regular Rock Tomb. Yep. <laughs> Figures. Sunny day. Oh, God. Sacred fire is about to hurt a lot more. Or flamethrower, whichever one it has. Whichever fire move this thing has is about to hurt. Oh, there we go. Drop your speed. Okay, light screen's really good for us in all reality. Yep, there's Sacred Fire. Doesn't matter, I'm one-shotted! <sighs> so there's two hearts. Two hearts remain. That's the biggest middle finger this game has ever given me. Oh, it's your turn to Dynamax, but you just got one-shotted. At least I healed everybody, I guess. I'm 
I'm hoping to get to Route 6 either today or tomorrow so I can island scan for all to in the Bellora. Ooh, nice. Ooh, that was a crit. Come on, NPCs. Okay, you're deleting Eldegoss. I mean, Eldegoss tanks that. Now the battlefield is weird. Cotton Guard. Sacred Fire on the Beware. <laughs> Barely survives. Because the Sacred Fire is being powered by the freaking sun that I can do nothing about. Um, Rock Tomb. Thunder Punch being faster. KO it. Yes. I'll take the turkey. That's what it is. This thing's a turkey. There we go. Because like I said, uh, I guess a Luxury Ball. There's not really anything orange and I don't have Fastball. But... Oh. <laughs> This is this is a bigger bird. It's a turkey. Combuskin's the Kentucky Fried Chicken. Cause its legs literally look like drumsticks. All right, clicky clicky. There we go. You love to see it. Okay, King Khan is not a shiny. Sadly, she's not a shiny whale. Needle King, thankfully, is not a shiny. Eldegoss, not a shiny. Burb, do we start with a shiny? We do not. Dang it. <laughs> I would laugh, because that would only be like my fifth or sixth freaking Ho-Oh raid. All right, I think, I think we go to Entei. We're just gonna cycle through them tonight. Let's go for the next legendary beast. I just want to get one of them just so I can go ahead and no first attempt shiny time to unfollow JK. Oof. Oof. Feels bad. Oh wait. No, I didn't set up a link code. I'd much rather would just either run with you guys or run solo. I've learned the random matches are not as sometimes are not nearly as good as NPCs. Um, I'll take the... Yeah, I'll take the Celio because it's thick fat. Stunfisk also isn't bad. I hate forgetting the link code. Yes! I do it so often, it's not even funny. Okay, so... We'll, Gloom's about the only thing I need to swap out. There's a Seizure right there. So what can I pick up after Seizure that isn't going to immediately get me killed? Or do I go Behem's route? Because there's a... There's Behem, Quillfish... That's a Swampert in the back. I don't need the Swampert, but I mean, we'll all take the Swampert. Because I don't think Entei specifically has anything really for type coverage. I mean, Raikou's got some, but not a lot. I just want to find one of the Jota Legendary Shiny today, hopefully, so I can go ahead and uh, get the Lugia path set up. Um, we'll go ahead and go for the Ice Beam. I mean, you're tanking your stats, but it's a Psychic Mon. Ooh, I got the Freeze! Hello? I'll take the Freeze. Because two of the mons in this fight are weak to this thing. Electric terrain, okay. I wish you had Volt Absorb Stone Fisk. Uh, okay. If somebody gets a Lumberry, like if I can. I don't remember if this path has items. I don't think it does. If it didn't, they got a Lumberry, though. I'd be totally using Swagger on them to spike their freaking damage. Mana shock, come on, get us to half. Almost. It's still frozen, let's go. You'll love to see it. This honestly isn't too bad right now. Until that thing thaws. The minute this thing thaws, I'm in trouble. That hit only is like 
Oh, you can delete that thing with a sneeze at this point. Yep, there's the thaw. Oh, going for the gloom. Murdered that gloom, too. I mean, valid, but the Hitmonlee is also just an easy murder. Which is scary. Stunfisk? Of course it lives off a of sliver. Hey, Hitmonlee. Punch it one more time. There's literally four of your five uses of close combat, but I mean, I'll take it. Alright, into the Pokeball you go. Yeet. On to 82 we go. Nero. Lick, lick. Pop, 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 pop. Ooh, so the past couple days I've been able to like catch up on some of my anime stuff. Uh, I'm good with that. Somebody else can take. Mm, okay. And so I finally got caught back up on Ancient Megas Bride for season two, part two. And then I started watching Faraway Paladin. Didn't realize that the second season was currently like coming out. So I'm already caught up with the second season of that. Like, it's nice. I ended up buying the light novels for my Kindle though, so I can read those and kind of enjoy more of the Faraway Paladin things. I really like the premise of the story of that one. All right, so you're a poison type, but I'm not super... Oh, right, you have Intimidate. That works out really well in our favor. Ooh, okay. Me forgetting the friggin' abilities of the Mons and the friggin' DAs because I refuse to memorize anything anymore. Um... Yeah, you resist everything. I mean, I might as well go big because nobody else is gonna go big. NPCs and all that. Oh, there's a poppy! Ooh, shiny conclador. Nice, nice. How you doing today, poppy? Let's see. And now the snow falls. Dude, so it's funny. I've been talking, it's been forever. I mean, it's been a minute, yeah. So I have been like slowly enjoying the fact that it's been slowly changing weather over here. Like it's not drastic change with short notice type of thing, which is really nice. But it's funny because my family's like, is it snowing there yet? And I'm like, no. And they're like, oh, well, it was 40 here last week, and then it was 80, and now it's 40s again. And I'm like, yep, yeah, sounds about right for that place. But Poppy is fine. People got lives, I understand. Also, I stream at weird times for a lot of people in the US. I try my best, but you know. I have a really jacked up schedule, uh, fair warning. Next week's streams are going to be a wee bit iffy because the person who's on emergency leave has extended their emergency leave, so. We doing our best. Ooh. Get the ball. Because you are the one quillfish I don't have shiny. There's a muck in chat for anyone who cares. I've missed a lot of things. Sorry, I'm also like clearing. Did you get the borb? We caught the borb, but it was not shiny. What have I been up to? Uh, lots of work. <laughs> lots of really sad amounts of work. Also, that was raid number 82. Uh, I'm good. Somebody else can take? Nope, of course not, because Intimidate would be helpful. Um, okay, so I was plotting on the Swapper here. Which I can only hope that the Gloom takes the Swampert. Dear lord, so many, so many peoples. I haven't checked my here in like two days, alright? It's, it's been a time. Alright, Swampert. We're just gonna go for the icy beams. Why? Because it's something. Ow. 
Right. All the mix-it-up support. They probably won't because that would be helpful. Yeah, and that's the thing. They, they won't because it's, that would be helpful. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. But... Yeah, right now work is still awful work and... Like I said, we've got one person currently gone on emergency leave. Turned around. They've extended that. Which I get. Fair. But that means that next week's schedule and the week after schedule are about to get really wonky. Because that person's basically gone the entire month of November now. We lose our full timer here in like five weeks because they're moving, and it's like okay. And they, s and I found out they've hired two people for my department, and then they moved them all to warehouse. So yeah, they've been hiring people. They just keep sending them to warehouse instead of us, even though they are being hired for my department. Oh, my yeah, that sounds stressful. It is. I really need to like pull my boss aside and be like, I can only do the 20 hours and it's on my contract, not the 30. I really need to get back into Fortnite this season because OG map. I saw something about the OG map for Fortnite. I think that's like drawing a lot of people back into Fortnite as well. Because it seems like a lot of people are playing Fortnite again. I'm just like, eh, I'm not I'm not about the battle royale situation. Somebody else touched this thing. Thank you. So now the question becomes, do I take the Swampert or do I keep my Celio and hope somebody else takes the Swampert? Oh, so that was 83. Again, I gotta remember to hit the button. It's right there. All I have to do is hit it and not hit my mic stand. Sorry. Oh yeah, no, 100%. This is a one month season before chapter five. Ah, okay, got you, got you. Yeah, right now I'm trying... I'm good with that. Ivy took it. Uh, okay. Alright, guys. Please don't F us over with the scientist. Why, Ivy? <laughs> Poppy should have taken it. I hate it. Thank you for the head pads. We were sitting pretty, and then we swapped to a bug. So it's called Chapter 4 Season OG. Ah, okay. Got you, got you, power. Hello, douge. Douge, doge. Not, not you, Poppy. NPC Poppy. God, I'm, I'm diving. F this. <laughs> I'm diving. I don't want to deal with this. We have three hearts, and we're we two of our mons are weak to this thing. Delete. We have one heart and two of these. Um, not in this game. The NPC named itself after you, but um, you, there is a poppy in my dinosaur game that we've been playing in Paleo Pines. You're Gallimimus. Sounds about right. I was worried about beating the burb. Entei is gonna be a lot harder. Why did the freaking Poppy have to swap away from the Swampert? Yes, you famous. At least the Sun Spore hit. And now we just pray that it's paralyzed for the next like six turns while we beat it unconscious. God. Just keep the Aselgore in the Pokeball, it's so much better for us. Because NPC is a dumb and wolf has dirt brain. I, dude, I didn't do anything on this one. Live. Lives on one. Let's go, Gloom. Venom shock. Earth power. Let's go. That stun fist could be an MVP right now. <laughs> Also, that Gloom living on 1 HP. Uh, where is my luxury? Oh, 
Nope. There. That one. Do not put it in the wrong Pokeball again. Um, okay. I'll read that later. That is not any right this second email. You, stop wandering. The moment you look over and realize the avatar has wandered and you're like, oh, I should I should fix that. Click. Alright. Behem is not a shiny, I believe. Yeah, not a shiny. Okay. Quillfish, not a shiny. Swampert, thankfully not a shiny. And Entei. Not a shiny. Dang it. Alright. Womp womp womp. Still nothing. You've saved your progress. Yes. Which means next up is Raikou. Which, of the ones we've got up there, Raikou is by far the one we've done the most. Because I really want Raikou. <laughs> Thing has been taunting me for ages. Uh, I will take that thing, please. I mean, none of these are weak to it. Not the Basculin. Not the Basculin. Oh, thank Jeebus. <laughs> I said that and I saw Basculin pop up. I was like, oh god, no, no, no. Ooh, Terrarium. Ooh, we have a fairy. We, we could go for the big dragon. We could go for the big T-Rex. It's behind the T-Rex. Pseudo Wudo. Boulder. Yeah, we can we can do that. This honestly isn't a bad path. All right, going into the raid. Must remember to hit button. And before raid officially starts, a sip of water. I forgot to fill my water bottle. Holy green. Whoops, a doodle. I really think they did really good with these two. For the what are these? The Gen Seven Legend or? Not Gen 7 Legendaries. <laughs> the Gen 7, um... Fossils. Why did I forget fossils? Why did I almost say dinosaurs? What is wrong with my brain? There's a lot of things wrong with my brain. You guys don't have to point that out. We know this. Because dirt brain. Hey, listen. I've done everything I can to restart the brain. It just, it refuses. It's like, no, 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 no. Brain not here. No, no, no. Wormwind. Why you beat up Tangela? What did Tangela do to you? Squish. Squish the lizard. Squish the lizard. Squish. I know it doesn't do much, right? Just let me have this. Then get a new one that I do. Do you know how expensive brains are? They're insanely expensive. Okay. Uh, yeah, everyone's gonna be buffered by the sandstorm besides the dragon. I'm sorry, guys. Like, we just gotta deal with it. But it is poison, so, you know, chip damage there. Eh, I'll go for Flutterby. I know Flutterby's not gonna do much because it's not a. Stab move. Ooh, Mega Horn missed. It has got it out for this Tangela, man. Low roll. Low roll. Stop it, too. No, Tangela! Damn it. Well, there's one. Just steal one from an action figure? I don't think action figures have brains. Fear my butterfly power. I should have squished it again. It's fine. I'll squish it again next turn. Squish. Beast the lizard. There we go. Buffered by sandstorm, poison damage kicks in. They do if they have electronics. Is it actually a brain though? Like, I feel like at that point it's more or less just a little bit of storage and a trigger for a power circuit. <laughs> Ooh, the defense and attack fell. Noise. Squeeze that lizard. Squeeze that lizard. Oh, I used Quake, didn't I? That's fine. As long as I save some for Raikou. I punched the lizard. 
I should delete it. Yeah. There we go. I'll take losing one to the dragon. Into the Pokeball. I was talking about electronics. Well, I know that. But it's like, I don't think the t electronic toys have, like, a motherboard or anything in them. Let alone a CPU. Yay! Lizard. 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 I don't know, man. Uh, I'm good with that. I'll take that swap. That's a good swap. Alright, so I'm thinking pseudo wudo. Pseudo wudo. Fine, steal one from an old computer. <laughs> I think the issue is, is that my brain has just reached its capacity for storage. And so my RAM is just dumping things again. Okay, so keep the stomping tantrum. But I... I can stone edge. We can stone edge. Scullipede starts us off with Toxic again. Which I will take. Superpower. Doo -doo 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 -doo. What? I mean... It doesn't matter that it kicked me because I was playing with NPCs anyway. Then add more RAM. Yeah, I haven't figured out how to add more RAM to my brain yet. That's really weird. It's been a long time since my Switch has been kicked. Yeah, my internet connection's good, too. I don't know, man. That did nothing. See, that does okay the first time. But when you guys spam it, it doesn't do jack because your attack is falling. This alchemy is, like, doing some heavy lifting. Rockfall! Who are you squishing? Squish the lizard. Oh, no. He's squishing the ice cream. No! Wait, that one's not ice cream. That one's... That one's just cream, isn't it? Like, just whipped cream? I might lose the alchemy to the chip. Oh, okay. Alright, so we're just gonna do Stone Edge again. Megahorn, please hit. Nope. Megahorn missing out here like it's a one hit KO, even though it's not. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Alright, please, Alchemy, use Magical Leaf. Yes, okay, cool. No, it lived! It's gonna get up two free KOs because of that now. Because of Body Press and then freaking. I'm gonna have one heart. This is gonna suck. Because I'm gonna have to lose the alchemy to this sandstorm damage. All alchemy lives on one, literally. But we so the widow goes down to poison. Get in the ball. And this is why the, I wish the NPCs would not spam the things that go ahead and drop their defense like crazy. Get in the ball. Oh, so that was 86. <laughs> Alchemy lived on two. Jeebus. Ooh, there's a Cradillion chat for anyone who cares. Okay, so we're doing Raikou. I don't think that that is a ground water type just yet, so we're gonna go for this one, even though I'm not entirely sure what that one is. But at least we'll have two hearts. Uh, what supplies you got? Electric Seed, Weakness Policy, Evilite, Muscle Band. Hand me the Electric Seed. Because Ente should put up... Oh, that's a Whisk Cash. Okay. This is the first time I actually got a clear look at the silhouette. I mean, that's fine. It's a ground type. It's immune to electrical attacks, which means it can get hit with Weather Ball and E-Speed, but that's about it. The only bad part is, is I don't have any mons that can forcibly reset. Oh wait, Scolipede has Throat Chop. What am I saying? Uh, because if Scolipede does Throat Chop, then Raikou can't use Howl. 
Because that's the bigger thing, is making sure that, uh... Howl does not get stacked a bunch before it starts nuking us. Also, this is 87. Got the toxic off. Noah, how does that thing still have superpowers to use? Can we stop beating up the dragon for five freaking seconds, game? You wear the butterfly power. I mean, the iron defense at least makes sense. You're gonna... Ah. Let's go for the last of the rock falls. I know it resists it, but... It's the best I can do right now. Might have, maybe should have done Palpitoad, but I didn't know if Palpitoad was going to be a water ground or just a ground or water type at that point. Hey. You're holding a life orb, aren't you? That's why you're losing HP. And then we got crit. Let's go for sturdy. Man. This is not a great set of runs. I'm constantly teetering on getting kicked out of these things and... Or I can at least take away your rain. Stop your hydration from healing you. And Skullipede and Whiskash should be the only two buffered. Uh, oh wait, no, Whiskash is a ground type. What am I saying? Max Strike. Hey, a Mega Horn that finally hit. Yeah. I mean, Sculpey tanked the Zen headbutt pretty well. That's good. At least it's, it's probably because it's not stab. Alright, Pseudo Ludo, just focus the body press, please. It's so freaking close. So freaking close. Somebody sneeze on this fish. That'll work. At least the Sculpey didn't try to focus Toxic again, because, like, at that point, she's like, what do you do? Alright. So, I've got, what, two months that are almost dead, and, um... One heart. You'll love to see it. At least I have the stomping tantrum for Raikou. <sighs> yep. One of- okay. Problem, I still only have one heart. No, I have two. Okay, woo! I, I'm essentially walking in with one, though, because that, that pseudo widow has got one HP. It's going to get sneezed on and die. I also don't like the fact that the Whiskash is now the thing holding a freaking life orb. When the pressure is on. Let's go! Also, this is 88. Stopping tantrum. Go! Again, a mega horn that lands. Let's go. Please live. Shit. Oh, once that pseudo-ludo's dead, we're fudged. Why muddy water, child? You have ground-type moves. Okay, it's not bad damage. The issue is the Scolipede is down, and, and that's the thing with Throat Chop. And there's the E-Speed. Well, we tried. Raikou kicks us out. <laughs> Don't you love getting one turned and murder something? 
Not a shiny. Not a shiny. Not a shiny. Thankfully, I was gonna be pissed if any of those were the shiny. Uh, Raikou. I know your Switch w was volunteering its brain to replace yours. I wouldn't trust my Switch's brain. <sighs> Redemption. Redemption before I do the burb again. I mean, I'm not connected to the internet anymore. Oh, God, no. Um, hmm. Oh, these are awful. Okay, take the pseudo widow. Okay, I, I gotta replace the Whelmer. Hopefully. Is that electric right shoe? Because if that electric is a right shoe, I'm grabbing it. Because lightning rod. That is a stun fisk. That's a Togedomaru. Okay. I know Oscar's not in a good spot, but. Why don't I trust my Switch's brain? Well... I'm not trusting Nintendo Engineering. Also, it's more the fact that I don't want Nintendo to claim ownership over me. Like, you mess with anything of theirs proprietary and they just try to say that they own you. It's really weird. Actually, just give me the max overgrowth. This is a nine. I will say though, at the rate we're going, we might actually hit the hundred mark tonight. Because we got like an hour of stream left and um what? Eleven away? Yeah. As the one good move that Wilmer has is the endure. See light screen's good. As long as the pseudo widow doesn't get like just bodied between now and Raikou, like I think other than the whale bar, we've got a decent team. Wahaha. <laughs> Don't waste your stomping tantrums. Also, how is stomping tantrums super oh, because ground is not resistant to ground, but that's why. Can I eat the Wilmer? I mean, if you want to, power. I'm not gonna stop you from eating a Wilmer. It might be a bit weird to eat a Wilmer, but you know, I'm not gonna stop you from it. Wee! <laughs> Wilmer, I'm gonna peace out for a bit, guys. I'm gonna die if I don't move. There we go. Stomping tantrum again. Earth power. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Listen, I know we're all healing from the, the the overgrowth, but it's doing its job, okay? Helping hand on the Wilmer. That's a choice, Chancy. That, that it was indeed a choice. It's got one freaking HP. There we go. Ow. Oof, neck pops. Neckity pops. I wish you guys had seen like the freaking massive ball of yarn that I've been having to slowly detangle. Chansey's dumb. I mean, Chansey's trying. At least Chansey's helping. That's more than I can say for some things. Okay, I'm good with that. Damn it. I swear these NPCs hate me tonight. So I think we're gonna go Scullipede. Just because I know the thing has throat chop. I haven't lost a heart yet, but I don't want to walk in there with a Whalmer that can just get deleted. Why am I being attacked, Power? What did I do? That's not a Skullipede, that's a Senna Scorch. Is that why I was attacked? Just because I called it the wrong thing? My bad. Hmm. 
know. Beno shock it is. <laughs> Don't help me! Help the pseudo widow. The pseudo widow should have answers for this thing. Because Pup isn't here to bully. Fair enough. Pup's been busy. Also, am I about to get deleted? Yep. Oh, I lived. Still gonna be affected by the vortex. We're all on fire now. Stone Edge! See, this is why I said help the pseudo widow. That would have one shot KO'd it. Ooh, I'm on seven. You know what? Screw it. Stop helping me, Chansey. Help the pseudo widow. Pokes holes. Poke wolves poke with a stick? What? Why am I being poked with a stick? It's a valiant sacrifice, alright, listen. Pokemon. What about Pokemon? Ow, poke a mon got you. Listen, the brain's not fully there. Alright? The brain is like just non-existent. I mean, I'll take the light screen, since the Chansey doesn't want to use its light screen. There you go, hit a stone edge, Sido Widow. That's all you had to do. Brain has been replaced with whatever's in Chansey's egg? Pretty much. Brain has been replaced with just scrambled eggs. Get in the ball, you. Also, that was 90. I'm good. I I don't know how I feel about that. I'm trying to get rid of this freaking Wilmer. So we have Sand Slash. What is that? No, Sand Slash. Just go for the Sand Slash. You know what it is. You've encountered a backpacker. What items do you have? And swear to God, don't offer any of these chuckle fudge of life orb. Bright power. Guess the focus band? Like, it's not, oh, that's great for me. I typoed and forgot the mon from Pokemon, so I said it was Pokes Wolf's Pokemon with the stick because it was on low HP. Ah, okay, power, that makes sense. I mean, I purposely used Rage Powder just so that way I'm like, well, I'm on 7 HP anyway, you might as well KO me so I have full health. And to prevent it from trying to one-shot something else. Ooh! Unidentified ghost in chat! For anyone who wishes to take a chance. Take a chance on me. Take a chance, take a chance, take a, take a chance. Oof. At least it lived. What? Don't judge me, power. And Ekans. Oof. I'll have to open the extension and see what mine was if I caught it. Abra is such a good group. It is. Or Abba. Not Abra. Dude, I'm, I'm, my brain's so dead I can't even freaking read, apparently. Alright. One more overgrowth. Take a chance, take a chance, take a chance, chance. Uh, mine was a Dreepy. I did catch it, though. 
Which I think that's my second Reapy. It is. Why am I being attacked? What did I do? So I'm gonna trade this Reapy. There's the trade button. There it is. Yeah, I want to trade the Reapy. Maybe this will help start your brain. I doubt it. Scrub. I'm pretty sure I already have a scrub too. I do. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Alright. I'm good with that. <laughs> the Whalmer has traded away. Thank Christ. Also, that was 91. We're going into 92. I know we got one heart down. Pseudowoodo's close to death. It's fine. Hello, Raikou. We are back once again. Can't kick us out one turn this time. I don't have two Pokemon in death range. Lift fight. Um, I'm gonna go Venoshock. If it goes for a Howl, I'm just gonna start using Clear Smog. Because Clear Smog will reset the um, stat change. Because they've all got Scorching Sands and Stomping Tantrum. Like, they got the super effective moves. I'm here to be a nuisance to the Raikou itself. Why? Why? Max Strike. Who are you punching? You need to not push yourself hard at work. I only assume it's part of your problem. Not that it's easy with your boss, but can't be a corporate slave. You don't deserve that. Yeah, Poppy, it's just... There's a lot to do and not enough bodies right now is the sheer point of it. Like, I'm constantly working six days in a row, getting a day off, working another, like, two or three days, and then getting another day off if I'm lucky. Like, it's it's the fact that we don't have bodies. And I'm only supposed to be working five, four-hour shifts a week, and that's not the case because how my boss is splitting those six days in a row is technically between two work weeks. So theoretically, I'm only working, like, 28-ish hours a week. But I'm working like 30 something hours a in a row. So that, that is the hardest part of it. It's so close to death. Poppy is so famous. There's a poppy in the Scarlet Violet dude for. Yeah. The worst thing I'm about being part-time is that you quickly turn into full-time bitch. Yeah, see, that's the thing. I can only work me works like 39 hours, essentially. But I've told my boss over and over again, I can't physically work more than like 26 hours within a given week because of my freaking hip issue. And so, like I said, within, you know, from the, uh, was it? From Sunday to Saturday, I'm only working like 24 hours. But from Wednesday to Wednesday... I'm working like freaking 30 something. All right, we got revenge on Raikou, which makes me feel a lot better. There's a lot of poppies in games. Uh, I don't think that's Stonefisk is shiny. It's hard to tell because it's so freaking flat. No, Sand Scorch is also not a shiny. Sand Slash, not a shiny. Raikou, can you please be orange? Oh yeah, Poppy Playtime. Poppy in League is my favorite champ ever up until they updated her and ruined her. That's about right, casual. They always ruin the kids. Raikou? Just be orange, dang it. <laughs> Done way too many of your raids. Alright, back to the burb. Which means Zente would be the 100 raid check. I can also imagine really I had been up in hours once despite saying I was supposed to stay under 20 and almost killed you. Yeah. Like, that is the hard part. Because, like, right now, if I go up to full-time, I then... Chicken. Or turkey. We then have to make full-time payments on, like, student loans and stuff. And it's like, right now, I'm qualified where I don't have to do that. I, like, the payment is really low. Uh, we're doing the bird. I want rock. There is no rock. Of course not. Uh, give me that thing, then. Take the pile of swine. Take the pile of swine. Take the pile of swine. At least one of you listens. Mika and Patchy got a dark ride from an unidentified ghost. Yeah, someone like several people have gotten dark ride from the ident unidentified ghost before. Okay, so got a Matang, which then leads in. 
Uh, that whole row I don't want to even touch. God damn. And of course the rock is another pseudo widow. Uh, okay. Thinking Matang is gonna be the best bet though. Oh yeah, I know who you're calling Stinky Foot Poppy. I I can infer pretty ca easily that's casual. But yeah, I, I need to sit down with my boss though and have a discussion. It's just trying to get through the month of November right now. Uh, give me the max darkness. Like. I need to get down to back down in hours because I really need to be able to have more time to freaking edit videos for YouTube again. I'm still behind on that. I want to be able to stream more consistently, and I'm trying to make blankets because holiday season. So I'm hoping if I can make a few extra blankets, I might actually be able to get them to sold for Christmas around here. Pseudo Widow does want me to take it, but it refuses to shine, so it's kind of one of those, okay. But I also already have shiny Pseudo Widow, so I'm fine as long as that one's not shiny, you know. Stop spamming the move you think is the strongest. Ha! I'm also a steel type, I resist. Noise toy. I don't like you raising your defense, though. That That's annoying. Stop that. Did you do anything? Oh, so we handed out candy for trick-or-treaters, so we handed out candy and Pokemon cards, because this was the first year we had trick-or-treaters, and it was honestly a lot of fun. Um, if I do it again next year, I'm definitely gonna make grab packs instead of just, like, trying to hand everything out, because, like, it was a lot trying to hand out candy. Oh, laugh if your shiny ends up as a pseudo widow then. I mean, I'm honestly probably just not going to catch the pseudo widow. like, I'm not gonna catch this Matang because I have so many shiny freaking Beldums, it's not even funny. Why would you override Stunfisk's electric terrain? Guys, we can't be fighting over terrain. It's not good for us. Ugh. Like, the simplest way to avoid that is to just not catch them. Yeah, those little see-through plastic bags would be much easier. Yeah. Well, because, like, I had the trick-or-treat Pokemon card pack, so, like, there's, like, three cards in a pack. And then we had candy, so I was letting the kids pick out their candy while I was, like, making sure everybody got a pack of cards. Is what I did. Which, some of those kids, man, they were ecstatic to get Pokemon cards with Halloween. And then some of the kids were confused because they didn't think that they would get cards and candy. They thought they were getting cards or candy. And I'm like, no, 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 you get both. And they were like, wait, what? <laughs> You can also probably get a good amount from a dollar store. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't have access to a dollar store here, though, Poppy. Remember, Germany. Those don't exist here, but I do have access to a local store, so... No. Okay, cool. Dun -dun -dun -dun. I guess it's gotta be the Dusclops. I'm literally not catching a single thing besides the Entei on this one. Or, no, not the Entei, the Ho-Oh. Um, let's see, Focus Sash, Normal Gem, Leap of Berry, Wide Lens, Shell Bell. Uh, give me the Focus Sash, because I'm weak to it. Just give them your spirit cards. No, that's what I had to do, casual. So, like, within the first 30 minutes, I had a hundred of those Trigger Trade Packs. Within 30 minutes, I had given all 100 packs out. So then I went over to my fat packs where I keep a bunch of my bulk cards and just started making sure each kid got three random cards that we mixed together because I made sure to take out like the energies and stuff. They didn't care if they like were, weren't sealed. They're like, hell yeah, Pokemon cards. And then there was like the parents with like the little babies. And I'm like, do you get, do you guys want the Pokemon cards? And like every single time there's at least one parent, they're like, yeah, I'll take some Pokemon cards. <laughs> it was so much fun. But it was hilarious because like there was two hours for trick-or-treating here. And I kid you not, the instant it hit 5 p.m. here to start trick-or-treat hours, you just saw hordes of children pouring out of houses and onto the like sidewalks to go trick-or-treating. It was like really wholesome in my opinion. 
I hadn't got to see kids actually just have a carefree time trick-or-treating. It was honestly really cool. Because, like, by the time I was trick-or-treating, it was all, like, trunk-or-treat stuff. It was a zombie apocalypse of tiny people. I mean, it was adorable. Like, the first kid who came up to my door, he had to be no more than maybe five or six, and it was just him and his dad. I think he's dressed up, you know, like the little classic little vampire, so he's got the white face paint on and, like, the fake blood on his, like, corners of his mouth and everything. And it was so funny, because he knocks on my door and I open it, and I'm, like, I'm dressed up in my Ren Faire outfit, because I didn't really have a Halloween costume, but I was like, oh, I can just be my sorceress, because it was cold, so I could wear my full cloak, finally. Finally, for the first time, I got to wear my full cloak, and it was amazing. But, so I open the door, and, like, the kid, he just, like, deers in a headlight, stares at me. And you can tell he's thinking about it. And his dad's like, come on, bud, you've been practicing it all week. I know you can say trick or treat. And you just hear the tiniest little trick or treat from this kid, and it was so adorable. <laughs> and then after that, it was just packs of kids, like, you'd open the door, and there'd be, like, two kids. And then by the time you got done handing out candy to the first two kids, there's another, like, seven in a group just wandering up to you. You're like, oh, hi. <laughs> it was so funny. And then poor Levy. We go treat ya. You would think power, but they're also, you know, Pokemon. Which Pokemon doesn't normally go on sale, so. Do you get any older people trick-or-treating? Uh, I had a good bit of, like, 12 to 13 year olds, it seemed like. There were some older siblings keeping eyes on younger siblings, and then a lot of the younger kids obviously had their parents with them. But I want to say, like, the oldest I would say for sure was definitely... There was a couple of, like, 15-year-olds running around trick-or-treating. Like, there was nothing malicious about it. Like, if they're having fun, they're having fun. I don't care if they just want it for candy. Like, the whole point is to kind of just have fun, in my opinion. Go to sleep, dust cops. Also, this should have been 94. Whoops. I gotta remember to hit the button. But I think Halloween was fun. Like, I had a remixed version of Lavender Town playing for a bit. Because, like, we had the windows open and everything, so you could kind of see. Freya's just gonna be the one who just constantly swaps, isn't she? Normalize every age good and trigger treating, question mark? See, I'm fine with it, like... Especially when it's teenagers in, like, a group. Because most of the time, they just want to have fun, too. Uh, is your Pokemon feeling a bit worn out from your adventure? Do I take the risk? Yeah. Okay, Denene. I mean, that's technically amazing for me because it's not weak to ho- oh. <laughs> Alright, so this one would be 95, so ho-oh would be 96. Sort of right off. It is the Tremon. Also, Denene's not going to be a shiny chick. Like, none of these are a bit but freaking ho or a shiny chick. Um, that just makes you... you know, the target's ability the same as the user's ability. Ooh, I could, I could get rid of pressure. Kill the hamster. No, I need it. <laughs> the hamster was better than the freaking dildos. Honestly, if more parents would go with their young kids trick-or-treating, I'd be fine. But that irresponsible parenting put young kids in potentially harm's way. Yeah. No, like... Casual, there was not a young child who was not supervised the entire freaking night that the kids were out trick-or-treating. Parents were running around, like, it was, when I say a pack of people, I mean there was, like, five kids and, like, ten parents in each group. I never saw a child who was not supervised that entire time. If I knew two other people who would go with me, I want to go to a party or a bar event or something, like... All of us is lock, shock, and barrel. <laughs> See, that would be cool. I think... I think for trick-or-treating, it really shouldn't matter. Like, a kid is a kid, you know? I don't care if it's a 20-year-old out trick-or-treating. To me, a 20-year-old's still a kid. Yes, I'm not even 30 yet, but hush. <laughs> but then at a certain point, once, like, you know, you're old enough to smoke and drink type of thing, nom nom's a hamster. No! My hamster lives. The flower died. <laughs> but. 
uh, casual. Lock, shock, and barrel are from Nightmare Before Christmas. It's the three kids who help kidnap Santa Claus. But oh, don't don't squish me. Don't squish the rat. No, the rat. I live on one because of my item. <laughs> <laughs> kidnap Mr. Sandy Claus? Yes, kidnap Mr. Sandy Claus. Well, <laughs> I lived on one until the sandstorm killed me out of spite. I hope y'all can do it, because, uh, Blossom and I are dead. <laughs> okay, well, the Blossom's back live at least. I gotta stop getting KO'd right before I get Dynamax. But I think, like, once, you know, you're in the U.S. and the age for drinking and smoking is 21, I think once you hit that point, then you really do need to do, like, Halloween party type thing or, you know, going out and socializing for Halloween. Not so much trick-or-treating. Just because I feel like trick-or-treating is very much for, like, the kids. It was fun watching a lot of the kids be carefree. <laughs> Ooh. Although I will admit, I'm not a fan of trunk or treats, but the only reason I'm not a fan of trunk or treat is because it doesn't have the sense of, like, community per se. Like, I remember when I was still trick or treating, trunk or treat was becoming this really big thing. And every trunk or treat I attended was either corporate sellout trunk or treating, so you got the tiniest bit of candy and a bunch of business cards, which was really annoying, or you waited in line for hours because everyone line up super early for trunk or treating only for by the time you got through because you got there at a reasonable time you know like not four hours beforehand but like maybe 30 minutes before the event started that by the time you got through everyone was out of candy i'm not a fan of trunk or treat events i know the idea is that they're safer the kids aren't wandering the neighborhood type of thing they're not going to get ran over by a car not paying attention but trunk or treat is not the way to do halloween in my opinion And that's just because from my personal experiences of Trunk or Treat, it was not a good time. I remember three years where I literally, like I was younger and I didn't get anything but business cards because everyone else had ran out of candy for Trunk or Treats. Here, like because of like the posts and everything for the military stuff, you could go to like the three different housing communities for the military posts around here. And they all had a separate trunk or treat event. They all had a separate, don't catch this, um, time for trick or treating and everything. So like the kids around here made out like bandits. I saw so many kids running around with literal pillowcases to hold their candy. It was hilarious. Okay, we're going against the bird, but we have one heart to do it. Can we KO this bird? I've been to them and I've been to the Bible Belt, so they're all held by churches, but it was nowhere near as fun as walking around, sweaty, tired, being out at 11 p.m., earning your candy. Yeah. See, ours, uh, we only had two hours for trigger treating for us, so it ended by 7 p.m., but that's also because they did it Halloween night. It was a Tuesday night, so kids did have school the following day. Um, we're gonna do this first. No, you'll probably die. I probably will. <laughs> like, let, let's be real. We will probably die at least once. Damn, okay. I lived. I was hoping I could take away pressure, but I can't, so. That's fine. I have thunder. Well, now you can be hit by ground-type attacks. <laughs> Big hamster. Big hamster. Which is the real reason I was waiting. Hopefully, hopefully we get a shiny soon. I know, I only get the- Ho-Oh would literally be the only thing I can shiny check because I didn't <laughs> capture a single Mon. For me, it's Big Hamster, yeah. Big Hamster, Big Hamster. But that's because literally everything we fought, I already have a crap ton of their shinies. I don't need more. You have a Pika clone that's not Pikachu or Mimikyu. Yeah, and it's still a Big Hamster. 
Or is this one technically a gerbil? I think this one's a gerbil. No! Stop that. You get the sun out of here. Stop powering up your sacred fire. Blossom, don't override my electric terrain. I need that. God damn it. So you must lose. No! I shouldn't lose because of that. Although the pseudo wudo is doing some work. Holy crap. Live! Live! No! Damn it, we were so close. I just had to live one turn. All we would have had to do was land another freaking stone edge and we would have been fine. I don't get any checks. Lay sadness. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I don't get any checks. <laughs> Alright. Entei. Entei for number 100. Let's see how we go. Um, why do you have to have sap sipper? Damn. I mean, I'll take the Azumarill. Take that Pelipper. Take that Pelipper. Take the Pelipper. God damn it. <laughs> it drizzle, guys. That would have been so helpful. I might be going as Selgor and that scares me. Uh, Sigilith, Gorgeist is a no, Oranguru, Flareon, Wilmer in the back, ugh, okay. Well, looks like we're going to the right. This is not a good lineup, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, this is 97. See, this is Kentucky Fried Chicken. Which I still need you shiny, so I guess this works out. This is what you get for having an evil mon called a Pika clone that is not Pichu because it was a baby or Mimikyu which deserves a hug. <laughs> Listen, I'm trying here. Um, let's just go for the max airstream. Make fun of the fact that it's a flying or fighting type. Which I know the next one's Machoke, but still. I'm really mad that they gave a zoom roll sap zipper in this instead of huge power. Hopefully we can get the Glalie off the team, because that's like the one thing that we're really weak against right now is the Glalie. Shadow Moon. Alola Marowak looks really cool. I like Alola Marowak, but I already have that one shiny, so. Derp -a -derp. He's super effective. Also, I didn't pick the rat. What, you want the bunny to be overpowered? Yes, I want the bunny to be overpowered. What do you mean? Why wouldn't I want the thing to be overpowered? Also, in my defense, I did not pick the rat. The rat was given to me by the scientist. Because I was trying not to have something that was weak to friggin' Ho-Oh and would be one-shotted by the friggin' burb. Mwahaha. <laughs> Speed go brr. Well, there goes Porygon. <sighs> well, the scientist is actually with us. I just realized that she's one of the NPCs. Well, then. They couldn't even get enough NPCs. So the scientist had to run with us, I guess. Alright, and Azumarill hits the delete button. All right, Shadow Bones gotta go first. He's so close to death. Now it is dead. Hmm. All right, into the Pokeball you go. Yeet. Come on, come on. Shakey, 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 shake. It's the only thing I miss is like even in the Dimax Adventures they only shake once and I'm like I want I like that when they shake three times. I like the shaky shake. Uh I'm good. 
somebody else take. Uh, damn it, Dean. Alfie should have taken this. That's fine. Whatever. Um, it's probably gonna be the Oranguru. Which locks me into friggin' Flareon. Is it just me, or do you keep making a vine boom noise? What do you mean, vine boom noise? A lot of times it's just me ranting to myself, like, with a random sound. Bright power, psychic seed, normal gem, muscle band. Ah, uh, yoink. What else you guys got? Ice creamy kicky kick. No, like one of the sound effects when you're battling? Oh, possibly. A screamy kicky kick. A screamy kicky kick. A screamy kick to the ice creamy kick. A screamy kick to the ice creamy kick. This is how you know my brain's like just freaking checked out and said no more. Start quoting random freaking YouTube, early YouTube day songs. Yes, instruct us on how to beat you. That would be fantastic. I mean, this is what? Normal Psychic? Yeah, normal Psychic, so that's what works. Uh, play rough again. Frick of tears. Hopefully Alfie takes this. So I really don't want to take a Glalie into an Entei fight. Also, this is 98. I can't remember to hit the button. Screamy, kick, screamy. Ow. That was a lot of damage, you weirdo. It's rude. I didn't do anything to you. Ooh, hyper beam did damage. Nice. Um, I guess I just go for play rough again. Crunch. Almost KOs. Focus blast. Hits and knocks out. Let's go. Maybe a ringer ring will be useful. Maybe. I mainly want it for the freaking instruct. Like, let's be real. But I mean, my option after this is Flareon. So, yeah. Because I'm not taking the clang. Because we're going up against Entei. That was what I was talking about? Yeah. I'm good. I mean, Janet took it. Uh, okay. Flareon, I doubt you have flash fire, but you're quite literally the best option of the three back here. And there's berries, so you know. I screamy kicky kick. I screamy kicky kick. I screamy kick to the screamy kick. I screamy kick to the screamy kick. <laughs> Flareon, deadly but adorable. Just like most evolutions. Yes! I can go big. Big. Big, big, big. Big, 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 rabbit. Big, rabbit. Big, rabbit. Yeet. Boom. kick. A screamy kick, kick, kick. A screamy kick to the screamy kick. Ooh, a star. Crunch, crunch. Burning jealousy. Yeah, see, Alfie, this is why I want you to get away from the freaking glarly. Ooh, light screen. Light screen's also good. I'll take that. There's a gold duck in chat for anyone who cares. Low sweep. Do 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 do. Warg. Kick, kick, kick. Screamy kick kick kick. Screamy kick to the screamy kick. I literally don't know. It's just in my brain and it will not leave. Uh, one more geyser. Psy shock. Okay. Blair's cry was so strong I got sent to an ad. Now it's over. <laughs> it happens. All I can hope is that Alfie takes this thing, man. I don't need shiny player on, but I mean, I'll catch it. Alright. Time for an Entei fight. Entei, Entei, 
and te and te and te. It was just perfect timing. Nice. Nice. Dean, you should let off you take it, damn it. I mean, it's better than a combat skin, but still. Berries! Full health and three hearts. Let's go. And hey. <laughs> Knocking on your door again, bud. And the pressure is on. I have three turns before I can die to Max. Aqua Jet! <laughs> oh, don't e speed my Orangaroo, you. Shouldn't say that all loud. <laughs> It is not a nice word. I tickled it. Lily, don't draw attention to yourself. Hide in the back, please. Yes! Give me another Aqua Jet. And take me smart and target the Lily. No! Okay. E speed. Rangaroo hurts. It's not as bad. Baby doll eyes. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's go. Let's go. I tickle it some more. Fake tears. Okay. I mean, I'm not going after Spadef, but okay. Now you're taking baby doll eyes again. Okay, so I got one more round before I can Dynamax. So one more round of tickling it with Aqua Jet. Max Flare. Oh, that's gonna hurt. At least targeted me and not the Glalie. The sun is now out, but not for long. Because I will bring the rain. I mean, for not very effective, it did pretty well. Okay, so you're just rotating through the team is all you're doing. Wrong Pokemon Entei. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Big grab it. Big grab it. Max Geyser, go. I know I'm not going to do much damage this turn, but bring us the rain. Get the sun out of here. Yeet. <laughs> 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 Creamy kick, kick, kick. I screamy kick, kick, kick. Big rabbit, big rabbit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know fight abilities and stat changes. You're supposed to hit the squishy ice type. No, no, I took out a Ranguru. <laughs> okay, so we got two hearts left. We're almost halfway through its health. Blarg! I did a little bit of damage, but the main thing is, is I took out the freaking sun! Alright. E speed on Flareon, that's fine. Ow, that did a lot of damage. Last resort! Entei's more desperate, which means he got two attacks a turn. There we go. There's the damage we want to see. Ranguru comes back out, baby. Alright. Give me... Give me a Max Geyser. Give me a Max Geyser. Preferably before... No! Stop that! Stop that! <laughs> Hey, Glalie lived. Glalie survived one because of the rain. But now the sun is back. Crap. And then there's the flame wheel on me. That's fine. Fake tears, okay. 
Psychic, let's go. Let's go. Can I kill it? Can I kill it? Down goes the dog. Get the ball. Get the ball. Do -do 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 -do. Luxury, 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 go! Please let one of these guys be a shiny this time. The only one because Entei was dumb. Oh yeah, 110%. Entei gave me that win. <laughs> if Entei had been smarter, I would not have survived that. Click. Uh, Kambuskin is not a shiny, I believe. Yeah, not a shiny. Orangaroo, not a shiny. That's fine. Flareon, thankfully, is the only one I didn't want to be shiny. Entei, have you graced us? Have you have you broken the drought? You have not. Damn it, Entei. Ugh. Which means we get one more run, and it's looking like a Raikou. Yes. Yes, please. Raikou. Yes. Let's go. Okay. Um, I don't like any of this crap. Give me that, I guess. I don't like any of these mobs, man. <laughs> but you really did want a mod that acts so dumb. Nah. Okay, um... The fudge is that? What is that fire type? Anyway. Um, that's a beware. That's a digger's bee. Looks like we're going normal with a DD. Yep, okay, we're going normal. This is such a weird Pokemon. Indeedee is a very weird Pokemon to me. Yes. I will admit, this team would terrify a fairy, but this isn't a fairy team. Er. I really need to like get that song out of my head. Why you ask? Well, because. <laughs> Dares me should be the one next after this. This is Indeedee. But it should be Diggersby, and then there's another ground type in the back, which I think was a Doug Trio. I didn't get a good look at the outline. I mean, this is probably gonna be our last run anyway, just based upon time, so. I was picking on you, Wolf. Oh, okay. <laughs> Listen, Bower, the brain has left. Like, the brain left a solid hour ago, or however long it was ago, when I started swinging the ice cream cake song, so there's that. <laughs> the minute I start singing a song from, like, early YouTube days is the minute, like, you know the brain has just left. It does not exist anymore. It has gone into power save mode, and it refuses to boot back up. I mean, I'm fine with a box of shame. I deserve the box of shame at this point. Down goes the ND. Which this one's male, right? Because the ears or whatever quit twist up. Yeet! Oh, PSA reminder if you're still playing Pokemon Sleep, don't forget to feed the Snorlax. <laughs> Mm. 
I'm good. You bastards. <laughs> See, that's a digger's bee. I came back and you have a box in your head? It, that happens, Poppy. That, that is completely normal. At least it wasn't an anvil. Yes, that was a male. Ah, okay. Um, bup, 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 I guess leftovers. See? Box. Box of shame. Escreamy kick kick. 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 Has the anvil ever bounced on your head? Uh, once when someone had a sombrero on my head and then the anvil hit, it bounced on the sombrero. Yeah, you have a berry that you're immediately gonna eat. Lit, fight, lit, giga, turning, giga, turning. Hey, look! A ground rabbit! You mean lunch. I will get the anvil because you said something? Ah, good luck! Also, we about to bully this rabbit. Hi, Bonnie. Yeah, right? Have you seen the FNAF movie? I have not, but that's because I don't know a lot of the FNAF more because I haven't played the games because heart issues. Wolf does not do well with jump scares. Oh, so this is 102. Twice? Let's go power. Matt Pat is in there? Nice. I know they wanted Markiplier to be in it, but because of the scheduling conflicts with him and his own movie Iron Lung Shootings, uh, that didn't happen, sadly. He says that's just a theory. <laughs> Good ribbit. Good rabbit. Wabbit season. Duck season. Wabbit season. Duck season. Wabbit season. Duck season. Elmer season. <laughs> also, Bonnie, get back to Alola and get me more items. <laughs> I see yours has pickup ability, huh? I'll take this one. Thank you very much. So here's the problem. That is a Sesmatoad. But I don't think Sesmatoad has any ground type moves. <laughs> but I'm gonna take it just because if one of the NPCs takes it, that's great because then they've got immunity to the Raikou except for Weather Ball and E Speed. Esclimi kicky kick. Esclimi kicky kick. Esclimi kick to the kick. Which I don't remember where the ice cream cake song is from. I'm pretty sure it's the same person who made peanut butter jelly time though. Hat. Haha. <laughs> I'm a dig. Dig a tunnel, dig, dig a tunnel. Dig a tunnel, dig, dig a tunnel. Dig a tunnel, dig, dig a tunnel. What was that? Ch -ch. Quick before the hyenas come dig. Ooh, such one. You suck a couple of primer gen. How old is the cake song? Pretty old. Um, it's around the same time as peanut butter and jelly time. Now I have a D4 in my ear. Stop it. Boop, 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 boop. There is an Inke in chat for anyone who cares. Why am I being assaulted with an Eevee? What did I do? Bug buzz. Decent damage. I have a D6 in my ear now. Stop it. Supersonic. He confused the spooter! How dare he confuse the spooter? Okay, what does aromatherapy do? Ah! No, I won't stop. I know you won't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. <laughs> stop putting dice in my ears, it's annoying. Alright. Get the ball, Toad. 
I guess if this is a female says but toad, it's toadette, but you know. Dig a tunnel, dig, dig a tunnel. Dig a tunnel, dig, dig a tunnel. Dig a tunnel, dig, dig a tunnel. What was that? Quick before the hyena coat. Sesmatoad scares you. I mean, that's that's valid. <laughs> it's a very like intimidating looking Pokemon. Uh, see, I'm good, and I'm fine with that swap. That's a good swap. Now I have pie in my hair and ears. Raikou, we've come to visit you again. Inke has escaped. No one caught it. Lay sadness. <laughs> Dig a tunnel, dig a tunnel, I'm being assaulted with an Eevee again. Pressure. Pressure. Pushing down on me. Pushing down on me. What is the hyena song? What do you mean hyena song? The one I'm like muttering is dig a tunnel, which is Lion King one and a half. It's like the opening song. Cause it's quick before the hyena comes. I don't know why, but like the dig a tunnel part is just very, very catchy to my brain. So anytime like dig pops up, like it just it invades my brain. Cause it's dig a tunnel, dig dig a tunnel, dig a tunnel, dig dig a tunnel, dig a tunnel, dig dig a tunnel. What was that? <laughs> Quick before the hyena comes, dig, and then it just repeats. <laughs> There's like actual chorus and stuff to it, but that is like the hook part of the song, so that's what's always stuck in my brain. I will not get in the Ultra Ball, damn it! I am not a Pokemon. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Back in the box of shame. Yes, confuse it. Confuse the Saber Kitty dog thing. Beast. <laughs> this vile plume's like, mmm, that Raikou's a tasty juice box. Beach ball! That beach ball! It's been forever since I've seen the beach ball. I wish I could kick it. You won't let me kick it. Damn. Temple, cute. Palpatode, what the hell? Sizzletoad, why? Yeah, pretty much. No! Reverted all the stat changes. You stop that howling! You don't need more attacks. Stop it. Burger! Confetti! Ooh, it's a pretty picture. Sled pump, go! Poison it, poison it, poison it, damn. No. No, no dice. You two really are turning that thing into your juice box. It goes from adorable to horrifying in two steps. Yep, sounds about right. Emma! Oh, there's your anvil. Yeet. I don't know why. Diggers be enchanting Big Rabbit just makes me think of Who Framed Roger Rabbit the movie, which honestly was a really good movie. Yay, Anvil of Pain? Yes, the Anvil of Pain. Stop using Howl! Because you're gonna spike your attack and then you're gonna attack because, yep. Ha! You went after the Sesma Toad. Hopefully, she KO you. Ooh, a school! Big Chungus? Yes, Big Chungus. I've forgotten the random scary noises you make. I'm sorry, Poppy! <laughs> Again, the brain left the building. It doesn't exist right now, which just means there's like little to no filter for a wolf's brain. Means the demon voice will come out. Occasionally. <laughs> Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Please, one of you guys be a shiny. Dun 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 Clicky click clack. Click. Yay. Uh, I don't think that one's a shiny. That one looks pretty normal. Yeah, that's a shiny. Or no. <laughs> no, that's not a shiny. Goddamn. Diggersby is definitely not a shiny. Sesamatoad is not a shiny. What about the Raikou? Do, do, we, do we get a shiny legend today? Maybe? Please? 
Why aren't you orange? Damn it. Okay. Swing and a miss. Another goose egg tonight of sadness. Which sucketh. But I mean, hey, it happens. You have saved your progress. Yes, keep a record of Raikou. Oh, none of our friends are on. My sadness. Wait. I thought... Oh, I guess not. Or they didn't go that long. So do we want to read into somebody else who's also doing DAs? Because we can do that. Stream over? Yeah, Poppy, I only do two hours most of the time anymore, just because I'm usually streaming later on my end. Like, it's about to be- it's a little after nine o'clock for me. I will be streaming tomorrow morning, though. So, hold up. Let me- let me go pull up the schedule. So tomorrow morning, we are doing Shiny Hunts in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Now, we're starting at 10 a.m. my time. I thought that was going to be 4 a.m. Central, but then I found out that Central U.S. is doing fallback tonight. So they will fall back an hour, which will once again have a six hour gap. So, in, or no, fudge. It's currently a six hour gap. So it'll be a seven hour gap again. So if you're East Coast, it'll be six hours. So instead of 4 a.m., it'll be like 3 a.m. Sadly for a lot of you guys, I apologize. It'll be really early for the stateside people. But. That's just kind of what we want. Um, let's see. Who else we got? Ooh, what do we got here? What are we feeling? Give me a sec. I'm lurking. Eh, not so much on that one. Alright, we may not raid out tonight then. I'm just not really seeing anyone doing a bunch of DA raids. Can I just suggest someone? Yeah, you can suggest someone. I don't mind people suggesting raids. It's fine with me. Usually, uh, with it being Saturday, somebody else that we know is on. But I guess not today. Which, I know a lot of them are going to be looking for, like, I know a lot of people are probably playing DLC for Scarlet and Violet just because of the fact that it's, we've got part two of the DLC dropping December 14th now. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let me pull them up real quick, Poppy. Because I also try to make sure that people, like, aren't, like, fixing to end. Oh, she just started, didn't she? Yeah, we can raid this one. I'm fine with that. Dear God, the rhythm game, though. Pretty much, yeah, we can do that. So, since we're going to raid into Rayon Leon 09... Go ahead, if you have my emotes, please use the second one. If you don't have the emotes, please use the first emote message, and I will see you guys early tomorrow morning. Thank you for taking your suggestions. Yeah, not a problem. Like I said, it seems wholesome enough, although I, I recommend, like, I condemn, I commend, that's the word I want, commend anyone who can play the freaking Hatsume Miku rhythm game, because holy crap, that game is a lot. So, but, Give some good vibes and everything, guys, and I will see you guys early, early in tomorrow morning. Please remember, take care of yourselves. Stretch if you can. Drink some water. Eat food. Hello to me. Hi, Pat. We're literally fixing to raid out, so <laughs> grab your plushie for the day. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll be back in like 10 a.m., so I'll be back in like 13 hours, give or take. Which I know really early in the US time. Bye, Wolf. Don't let demons out too much. For sure. Yeah. So, all right, I'm gonna cue this up. Like I said, use the first, if you have the emotes, use them. If you don't have the emote, use the other message. Hostile. I'm sorry, Pat. 
But I will catch you guys later. All right, guys. Bye-bye.